right, so now we have to get it uh, craftable. So I got the recipe armor hide curious open. And you'll notice uh, there's a couple things on this list. First, we want to change the name. So let's go ahead and call it 01 Nidacy. I'll call it Torso. Torso C O. I always put a C O on the end because it identifies this as being the constructible object. All right. Uh, sorry. So put your name, your standard name, 01, the name of your armor piece, and then C O on the end to give it a unique name. Uh, the created object, this we want to set to the item that we're creating, which will be the 01 uh, Nidacy torso. So you just scroll all the way to the top. It'll be way up at the top because we use the 01, and this is alphabetical, and it'll be Nidacy torso. All right, so uh, the created object count, how many of the object is created whenever you use these mats to create this. Just leave it at a one for armor because you're not going to magically create two torsos from crafting at once. Uh, the workbench hotkey, this sets it to crafting smithing forge. That means that this is telling it that this item is constructed at a forge. All right, so you don't have to change this. Uh, now, this here, you can remove or add items like if I don't want leather to be required I would just right click on it and delete it and like let's say I only just for you know since I'm testing I only wanted it to require one leather strip I'd go to count you know I'd select the leather strips I'd go to count and I'd type a one now this only requires one leather strip to craft this torso and let's say I wanted to make uh, it be iron I would type in ing for ingot I would find uh, an ingot iron and I would say, well, actually, sorry, you would create a new, then you would go to uh, ingot armor. Uh, so I'd find my ingot armor. It's just an example. Let's say I wanted to require three of them. I would type in a three. And now this requires one leather strip and three iron ingots. Okay, well, I really don't want that. I want it to be simple for people to get so they can just really quick craft it and they don't have to play around. For immersion, if you want to add more crafting requirements based on how advanced the armor is, like let's say it's uh, got the armor ratings of actual Daedric armor, well, you're going to want to add a few more required items to this list. You know, like maybe a Daedric harp by going in here typing, well, creating a new, typing a DA, you know, and then trying to find the Daedric heart, which is a, it's really a pain to find stuff in here. Uh, Daedra heart would be a Daedric heart. You know, this is just an example. I'm not actually going to add this, but if you wanted to add more stuff to this list, you would just right click, go to new, and find the object that is required to craft this. All right, I'm just going to leave mine at one leather strip. So I got the name change. It's crafting, it's creating a Knight of C Torso. Uh, it's creating one of them, and it's creating it at the forge, and it's requiring one leather strip to be created uh, to create this item. As soon as that's all set up, you just go ahead and select OK. It's going to say, I want to create a new form. Yes, I want to create a new form. Now, while I got this open up, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the boots. So I'll just double click the, oh, that's class. I want to do hide. Whoops. So armor hide boots. And um, I'm just going to change the name to 001. Uh, Nidacy. Nidacy boots. CO for constructible object. I've got to change created object to Nidacy boots. I find 0, 01 Nidacy boots. And then in the um, objects to create it, I'm just going to change. I'm going to delete the leather. I'm just going to set it to one leather strip. And then I'm going to select OK. So create a new form. Yes, yeah, so now I got the boots and the torso. Uh, I want to go ahead and do the uh, gauntlets. So I'll double click on the gauntlets and uh, I want it to craft. This is just change the settings. You know, it's really simple. Uh, the gloves. I'll change this to zero one night of C gloves. C O for constructible object. I don't want uh, to require leather, so I'll delete that and I'll make it only require one leather strip. You guys probably basically get the idea all this requires right here. So you just do each piece. So that was the gloves, the boots, and the gauntlets. And now I need to do the helmet. And it's convenient because I actually use the hide helmet. So which it wouldn't matter. I could pick any helmet. Uh, Nidacy helmet CO for constructible object. And the created object will be my helmet. 
Uh, so I'll just find the Knight of Sea Helmet. And I only want it to require one leather strip to craft. And select OK. Create a new form. Yes. Now another thing I need to do is do the mask. So I'll double click 01 Mask Tutorial CO. And I will change this to 01 Knight of Sea Mask CO. Constructible object. And i got to change this to 01 Knight of Sea Mask. And it already requires one leather strip. And I'm good there. I just select OK. Create a new form. Now you're going to want to set these up to where they can be tempered uh, at a smithing table. So, you know, when people go up to a thing and just pound away on it and make it a little stronger. Uh, so what you got to do is you've got to find a temper armor. So what you do is you just go down and find one of the temper armors. And let's just choose the uh, hide. So I'll go to temper armor uh, hide. Curious. All right. So once I got this up, now this already has the settings for the arcane blacksmithing perk that you have to have if it's enchanted. So it says if the item's enchanted, you got to have this perk. So you got all these settings here already to save time. Um, and it's saying that I require one leather, which I want to just make mine require a leather strip. So I'll just type in leather strip. Alrighty, and I'll delete that leather, and I'll change this to zero one. Knight of Sea Torso, because it's for my chest, and I'll change it to Constructible Object Temper. I'll put a T on the end to identify it as being the temper. Now, say the created object. Well, you would set it to your actual armor. Again, There's this is actually uh, pre-programmed. You don't have to do anything special. Just set it to your torso, and it, you'll see that the workbench hotkey is its crafting smithing armor table instead of forge. So this is actually identifying that this is constructed through the table. So whenever it creates this torso, it'll take your torso away from you. All right, and you don't have to put it in the required items list. It'll do this automatically. It'll take your torso and it'll just increase the armor level of it. That's all this will do. And it'll make sure that you have arcane blacksmithing if your chest is enchanted. Alright, so this follows the game rules. So once this is all set up, you just select OK, and we'll create a new form. And so we don't have to keep coming down here and finding another temper armor. We're just going to scroll all the way up to the top. We're going to grab our Knight of Sea Torso COT. We're going to double click on it, and we're just going to start changing this one's name. So instead of Torso, let's do the Boots. I'll do, I'll just change this one's name to Boots. Already requires one leather strip because I set that up. The created object will be the Boots and it's already set up to crafting smithing. So this is all I have to do is change this name and this name for all of the pieces of armor to make them all upgradable, requiring one leather strip to upgrade it. So boots, create a new form, yes. And then I'll just do the next one. So I'll double click the torso again, and I'll change the name to the gloves. C-O-T, created object will be the gloves. And everything else is set up. My mouse is acting funny. Yes, now I got the gloves. Double click, I want to make the helmet. And you just do this for every piece of your armor so they can all be upgraded at any forge. So I'll do the helmet. And that's already set up. And then I just change this to the Knight of Sea helmet. Crafting artist smithing, it's all set up. Helmet, helmet, create form, yes. And uh, I guess the mask is the last one I have to do. So I'll double click and I'll change torso to mask and this will be set to the 01 Knight of Sea mask and that's all set up and I select OK. Get new form. Yes. Alright. Then the last thing, last but not least, the last thing you have to do is just go up here and save the object. Alright, so this saved everything you just did. Now if we go in game, our armor should be craftable at any forge and upgradable at any smithing uh, table. So let's go ahead and test this out. I'll see you here in game in a sec. All right, one quick thing. It is important that before you test this out in game, you open this up, go to your data files, and enable the ESP that you just created. Remember when we saved it in the creation kit? You just got to go into data files and check the box next to it, or use the Nexus Mod Manager and check the box for it. All right, so just make sure you do that. Otherwise, you're not going to see it because you didn't turn it on. All right, so here I am. I'm at the forge. I just typed COCQA smoke and ran over to the forge for it. And I'm just going to see if my armor is in here. I got my uh, other stuff. 
Should be called Nidacy. Alright, there they are. The Nidacy boots, Nidacy gloves, Nidacy helmet, Nidacy mask, and Nidacy torso. So I'm just going to craft each one of these. And I set it up uh, that it only requires one leather strip. That's, that's what I always do, especially for testing these things out. You can change what it requires to craft later by just going in, changing it, and then resaving it. So I just crafted everything. Uh, I open up my inventory, find my Nidacy boots, Nidacy gloves, Nidacy helmet, Nidacy mask, Nidacy torso, and I have my other mod, so I need to unequip all that other stuff uh, for my 10 slot uh, setup that I was telling you about the, the couple videos ago. <laughs> Alright, so there's all the stuff I just crafted, and I'll type um, COC Studio 1 so we can get a better look at it. Okay, so here I am in Studio One, and as you can see, all of my armor was crafted, equipable, and uh, upgradable at any forge. So now the armor is actually standalone. You could set this up in its file structure, like you'd create a, uh, and you'd want to, you know, do your textures too to get it uploadable to the Nexus. Uh, to do that, you would, uh, you know, just set it all up. But uh, that's all that's all pretty simple I mean all you have to do is just set up the file structure so you'd create a folder on your desktop call it data uh, then you would create another folder you'd call it meshes armor one night to see for me and then I'd create I'd take all of my uh, armor pieces copy them and then paste them into the folder that I just created on the desktop then I'd create I go all the way back to the data folder on the desktop create one called textures uh, then I'd find my texture folder which was UMP customs or whatever we saved the texture folder as create that folder and then copy all the textures put it in there and then take all that put it in a zip file and you can upload it to the Nexus that's there's tons of tutorials on how to make uh, you know a uh, Nexus mod manager so that's that's pretty much not what I'm covering I'm covering showing you how to make them uh, I'm sure you can figure out how it works by downloading another custom armor mod uh, and looking at it, but remember whenever you make this uploadable to the Nexus to share with other people You need to take the ESP and put it next to the data So you double click data and there where you have your meshes folder your textures folder You'd have your ESP file There so you'd put that there next to those two folders because that's where it needs to go But uh, that's just you just have to figure that out and play around with it well, there we go. We have a fully craftable, customizable armor, and uh, we need to make the ground items. So the next tutorial will cover making these uh, items. The next tutorial will cover making ground items. So whenever I take the armor off and I drop it on the ground, I'll actually see the armor that I created. Or when I open up, you know, my crafting section, I go in here and I look at it. It'll actually be my armor instead of these weird pieces that we stole the uh, items from. So I'll show you how to do all that. All right. When you get it in game, you notice that instead you're at the zero weight slider, but your character is wearing what looks like the one weight slider, or you're at the you know 100 weight on the body, but it looks like your character is wearing the zero weight of your armor. What you're gonna have to do is you go into the creation kit to fix that. You'll go into creation kit, you'll go to your armor add-on folder, and you'll go. For instance, let's say the torso was not showing the zero body torso. You know, you'll test that by typing show race menu and seeing if it grows as your body grows. If it doesn't, that means you need to change this from torso F underscore 1 to torso F underscore 0. This is a little buggy, so if your armor is not set to the right weight based on the weight of your body, come in here and change this from 1 to 0. And for any armor piece, if it doesn't grow with the body correctly and it's like it's the large armor but it's the little body, that means this is backwards. That is a creation kit bug. That is not something that is fixable. You just have to come in here and just do it backwards. You go in here and you change torso F1 to torso F underscore zero or gloves F1 to gloves F0. Same thing if you change the one in here for the body weight to be a zero instead of a one because it's growing incorrectly you'll also change the first person from a one to a zero. Alright so just keep that in mind if it's the wrong armor size for the wrong body weight it's like backwards like you got the hundred armor with the zero body you need to just swap this in the armor add-on and then resave and when you go back in game it'll be correct